Welcome back to The Daily Move. This is part of the four week challenge. This is day four of week two. What you're gonna need is a towel, some kind of light resistance band, one of the long oval ones, a chair, I used a cooler. You're gonna need some kind of bar or even a wall to, to hold on to, a Swiss ball if you have it, and TRX straps. What I did was actually I took two climbing ropes with uh, dog handles in order to get into that position. Uh, so you may have to be creative with that. So grab what you need. We're gonna get started with the towel. So make sure that you roll it up so that it's a smaller roll to put underneath your shoulder blades. All right, guys, let's get started here. So we're gonna start here on our backs and you want the foam roller just underneath the shoulder blades. So make sure to wiggle the arms around to make sure that they're still free. You're gonna take your time here, slowly rounding over top of that. You wanna keep your abs contracted as you slowly melt over top of that roll. Hanging out here for a few seconds before you do a small crunch back up and then repeat that. We're gonna do that three times, taking your time getting into this position. So next you're gonna butterfly your elbows. You're gonna bring the elbows up towards the ceiling and then bring it back down to the floor. You're gonna repeat this five times. After you've done five of those, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do um, a floor angel where your forearms are maintaining contact on the ground the entire time as you reach over top of your head and then slide those elbows down towards the roll. Again, going for five repetitions. Afterwards, you're gonna do a mini crunch, get rid of that roll. Arms are gonna go straight up towards the ceiling and you're gonna reach up, squeeze those shoulder blades back, maintain that tension in the muscle, and allow the arms to float backwards. If your bicep is going past your ears, you know you've gone too far. So just reset and let those arms fall back. You're gonna go back and forth here three to five times. So next you're going to grab that oval band, place it around one foot, and then your opposite hand is going to grab it. With your thumb leading, you're going to go on a diagonal down towards the floor. Going for five to six repetitions here. And you want to think about your shoulder blade coming down that spine to your opposite pant pocket. Once you've done five to six repetitions, switch sides. Now both feet go into the band and both hands go overhead. Holding for a few seconds, and then you're gonna do that floor angel slide where you bring the elbows down and then slide your hands back up towards the top and then repeat that five to six times. After your fifth or sixth rep, you can get rid of that band and you're gonna need that chair. Here I use a cooler with a foam pad on it. 
You're gonna be on all fours here, keeping your torso square, seeing how high you can lift up a straight arm towards that ceiling. Hold for a few seconds and repeat. Going for anywhere for four to six repetitions here, being mindful that your torso doesn't open like what I just demonstrated there. You want to keep your whole torso square and you're just lifting the arm. After you finish doing four to six repetitions, switch sides doing the same thing. Once you've done that, you're gonna put your elbows onto the chair. And your palms are gonna be facing each other and you're going to sink your chest between your arms and then see if you can get your thumbs close towards your back. Taking deep breaths in and out. Every time you take a breath in, just ease out of that position. And as you exhale, sink in deeper. We're gonna slowly come out of that position and then we're gonna repeat those arm lifts. Switching sides here. And then going back with your elbows onto that chair, sinking your chest in between your arms and letting those thumbs fall towards your spine. You may notice that you have a little bit more range here. I know I certainly did. So on the inhales, coming out of it slightly and the exhales, sinking into that stretch deeper. So for this next exercise, I'm going to show you two different variations. So we're doing a neck bridge here. So I'm using the muscles of my neck to slightly lift my body off the ground. Now this may be too intense, so, so I'm going to show you an easier version to do down on the floor. It's important not to just jump to the more advanced option, it can cause a headache. So an easier version is just to have something underneath your head on the ground. And then you're doing flexion extension at the neck. So chin goes up and then you're gonna tuck it back down in towards your chest. So choose one of these variations to do. And if it's your first time doing it, maybe only do two to three reps and then start building up to five to six repetitions. So we're gonna take that foam pad, we're gonna place it on the ground. You're gonna lay on your stomach, you're gonna bend one knee. The arm of the knee that's bent, you're going to reach towards that foam pad and then swing the arm to your back. Then you're gonna create a spinal rotation. So I'm gonna switch legs here just so that you've got a better angle. You stay on the same side because we're going for five to six repetitions per side here. And no, you don't need that foam pad. It's just nice to have a little bit of a target, but it's not necessary.
after your six repetitions, switch sides, doing the same thing. So next we're gonna go into a child's pose position. You're gonna put one hand on the back of your head. Make sure that you're not pulling down on the head. And then you're lifting your whole spine, including your neck off of the ground and then lowering it back down. After performing five to six reps with one arm, repeat the same using the opposite hand. So next we're gonna lay on our stomachs in a cactus pose. So our arms are gonna be bent on the floor and we're gonna work uh, external rotation. So what you're gonna do is pick up your fist off the ground, spinning at your arm bone, hold for a few seconds and return. We're only gonna do three of these. And then after you've done three, you're gonna keep one arm where it is. The other arm's gonna go into a push-up position. And then you're gonna start rolling your body towards that other palm. You should feel a good stretch into the shoulder here. Hold for a few seconds before switching sides. So we're just working that external rotation in just a different way. And then we're gonna go back to those external lifts. Again, repeating for three, and then we're gonna go back into that stretch again. So keep one hand where it's at, go into that push-up position, holding for a few seconds before switching sides. And then returning back to center for one more round of that. So you've got three of those external rotation lifts. And then going back and doing that stretch one more time. Switch sides if you haven't done so already. So next you're gonna need a bar. You can do this with a hockey stick. So you're kneeling and then you're gonna side bend your body away from that leg that's on the floor to feel a nice stretch into that lat. Now you can play with how far away you are from the bar just to figure out where is that best stretch for you. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side now. Now, 
if you have a hockey stick, you can do that as well. The bar does not need to be planted. And you could probably do it against a wall as well. So next we're gonna go into a pec stretch here. So a door frame works great for this or a corner of the wall. As you breathe in, you're gonna relax out of that position. And as you breathe out, you're gonna sink in further. And we're gonna do a second round of all three, getting that lat stretch on one side. And now on the other side, and then back into that pec stretch. So you're gonna need that oval band again. You're gonna loop it around something that feels secure. And then you're gonna go into a child's pose position here. You're gonna set your shoulder blade down and back before lifting that arm up towards the ceiling. Pausing for a second or two before you lower down and repeat on the other side. So for this next exercise, I'm going to give you two variations to do. If you have something that represents a TRX strap, then fantastic. What you're going to do is your arms are going to be out kind of like in a Superman position. You're going to let your chest fall. It was the same thing that we were doing on the chair earlier, just with straight arms. Now, if you don't have this, have your arms straight up against the wall and just sink your chest down between your arms, just like what we were doing with the chair earlier. All right, so this one's just kind of fun. I threw this one in at the end. If you have a physio ball, it's on your hand. And then you're seeing if you can get underneath it and balance it. So it's working shoulder flexibility here. And then you also have to adjust to it. And then coming back up and switching sides. You'll notice the first couple times are pretty awkward. but the body starts learning and adjusting to what you're trying to teach it, and then it will become easier.
So this last exercise is going to wrap up week two. Congratulations. Let me know how you're liking this program. Make sure to like and subscribe and share with anyone that you think that would benefit from a mobility program like this. Well, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Bye.